it's too early to understand what the impacts of deep sea mining would be, but we know enough to know that the damage to biodiversity would be really uh, serious uh, for these ecosystems. From what we understand of the process, it's going to involve basically dredging up or sucking up these sort of potato-sized nodules from the seafloor. That might sound like quite a harmless process, but actually it takes the top 10 or 20 centimetres or more of sediment off the uh, surface of the deep sea floor. And of course, there's a very large amount of life living in those sediments. So when you drag something across that sediment, it produces a, a large plume of very, very fine particles. That's a problem for deep sea life because many of the animals uh, in these areas are quite small. Their feeding structures and their respiratory structures, their gills are all very fine and they can be clogged up or the animals can be smothered by these plumes of sediment. I think what you've got to bear in mind is that this is quite a remote part of the ocean. Um, so you're introducing noise into an environment which previously hasn't really been exposed that much to, to human noise. That can interfere with communication, it can interfere with detection of prey, it can interfere with detecting the environment. These deep sea ecosystems are much more complex and much more variable than we ever realised before. You can't take away a major component of the physical structure of these systems in terms of the nodules without having highly destructive effects on that biodiversity. And when you think that the manganese nodules themselves take millions of years to grow, if they're removed, they're not coming back anytime soon.